let's talk about a very important operator. This operator is known as division operator. Division operator. Division operator is basically used for queries in which we have keywords like for all or in all okay or at all it's basically for queries pertaining to all things okay so let's suppose we have relations like uh, we have this we have a relation called player goals okay which is having the player name it has the name of the team against which he has made a goal he has the number of goals that he has made against that team and the venue name the venue where we he has made the goal okay and we have table called venue details okay so venue details is the venue name the city where that venue is located and the state where that venue is okay now suppose that i need to find a query or rather i need to find information such that i have to get player names who have score goals in all of the venues okay just give some attention over here in all okay i'm not concerned about off i'm just talking about in all okay as you can see we have in all then this is an indication that i can probably use my division operator so let's suppose i have a relation r1 where i store where i store project player name and venue name okay so in this table i'm assuming that if there is an entry in player goals then it indicates that person has scored a goal there is no value where goals is zero okay not possible assume that it's an integrity constraint okay so let me have all the information all the players and the venue name combinations in r1 and in r2 let me have project venue name from what is the name of our table venue details and here what is the name of my table it is player goals okay so let's see what does r1 have r1 would have values like 
Jew. Let's say the name of the venue is XYZ. Then we would have Jo PQR. Then we would have Jim LPM. Then we would have Tom ABC. We would have Jo PQR. Okay. Let's suppose we also have okay. Joe PQR is already repeated. Let's say we have Joe LPM and we have Joe ABC and let's one more value Sean ABC. Okay, this is R1. And what do we have in R2? In R2, we will have just the venue name. So we will have XYZ, PQR, LPM, ABC. Okay, there are only four venues, right? Yep, there are four venues. So let's make it as a table. So this is my table and this is my R2 table. Okay, I'll just complete the rules over here. So now to get the name of the players who have scored goals in all the venues, I would simply do R1 divided which is the division operator R2. So this would give me the relation Cho. This is the answer. Okay, as we can see, we have four venues and Cho has scored goal at all of these venues. XYZ, PQR, LPM and ABC. So that is how I use a division operator. Okay.